everyone welcome back for another exos heroes episode so in today's episode we're going to discuss a core verse of fc monica actually she and i go a long way back i'll tell you in a while but let's get on to it Okay, so for FC Monica, we have a Coriverse. So I think it's about time that she had her, you know, Coriverse. Uh, her kit was, I might say, not really trashy. Um, now, it's 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 a bit on the below average side. Um, all she has going for her is actually her piercing damage for her S two, but we'll go to that soon. Okay, so we have a Coriverse for her after the maintenance. So this is going to drop tomorrow. So again, we have her here. So you can recruit hero plus fate core with high probability than premium recruit. By the way, guys, I recently, you know, um had the had the urge to probably had have an overlay for for my channel um more or less this is what i picked out so more or less, can you guys tell me if i picked out the right overlay or i should have picked out another one so i hope you like this type of um, this type of uh, format i'll be using this and i'll be experimenting on this of course the the warden logo is still going to be there but again for the background i had to blur it out because I'm I'm actually recording from you know from a bedroom, so more or less I it, it's cluttery at, at the back, so I had to blur it. And uh, um, maybe in the future, if I have things going for me or for the channel, probably I could put up a you know a regular studio for my for my videos. But for the, for for the time being, I hope this is okay with you, much better than the other one. But before we go into more of that let's go back to um fc monica okay so th the story between fc monica and i go way back because again when i started the game i was so i was so dumb actually not consulting with you know existing players or or youtube videos back then so what i did was um instead of getting uh, faded heroes what i did was when I was re-rolling for, you know, your your first re-roll when, when, when you're a beginner, actually, I found her very beautiful. That is why I got her. So, again, stupid me. Um, I ended up using her anyway um, for for quite a bit until until I got, you know, got other heroes, fated ones, until I had to remove her eventually. She's very hot. She, you know, look at that, guys. The design um she's a singer um again i'm in love with her again or less let's go back to her fate core core reverse okay so again design stunning and very very good exos heroes um going down to her skill changes so basically for um her passive her passive is still the same it still focus fire afflicts target with focus fire mark and decreases dodge block for one round on basic attack okay gains one mana when the target dies so she also has superstar so afflicts target with attention mark for seven turns and when the skill hits increases all damage over time on a target hero with attention by a hundred percent okay um, the usual for for idol for the idol theme and we have here a fan club a flicks target with anti-fan mark when attacked triggers double team for all living allies if health of enemy with anti-fan is 30 percent or lower this is actually good as well and the last would be highlight buff increases own attack okay by 50 percent for eight turns if an enemy with status effect dies so there are a lot of status effects in the game um, one of them is stun. I think one of them is sleep. So more or less, again, a very good buff, but it has conditions. But we'll go to her S1, where I think she has a improvement on her skill. So if you can see, I won't I won't read everything. So again, deals 187% damage to one enemy. It's still the same from below. Then the overtime effect is actually the same, but wait for it 
she has now a silence for four turns for her first skill for s1 so this actually makes it makes it worthwhile actually to get her um let's actually move on to her s2 before i give my thoughts on this so for her s2 which is crowd surfing again same damage 525 piercing damage to to en to one enemy and she actually has silence here as well for six turns or so s1 four turn silence s2 six turn silence okay how important is silence in this game right now it's actually very important because i'm currently let's say for example i'm currently using wasted red although she's with north one frosty but I'll, I'll give you an example first wasted red i have two heroes there that have silence i have annie i have redly and especially if you manual them in pvp they're very annoying now with schmidt um now with schmidt coming back or sorry now with schmidt in play we can actually exploit silence twice so i'm doing that currently with with annie with uh, with redly um because they're affected by master's footsteps and for her she can actually do this as well so she doesn't have to be paired with north one frosty heroes uh, or a North Von Frosty core, she can actually be splashed with any other team. Um, because again, she doesn't have any conditions here for North Von Frosty. And um, Silence is actually very good. She let's 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 start the discussion with North Von Frosty. So basically for North Von Frosty, you have there your core, which is Shofraken, which you have there Valentina. Um you have their battery because she has to get rid of uh, summer's blessing uh who else is the core so you add their um dorka actually then the last one you either put their ramji you have fc iris or you can put their fc monica so she is actually viable now especially that her speed she is pretty much very fast. She's, I think, in the range of 116 or between 112 to 116 in terms of speed. And you can actually increase it right now with a lot of, you know, stat buffs that we have in the game. And also, if you have Signature Force upgraded for North One Frosty, she is very viable for the first two turns, okay? And the, she will help you in your North One Frosty team if you're bringing North One Frosty. She will help you delay your enemies and keep Valentina alive enough so that she survives and she actually does a mana burn and bind as well. So again, she's very viable now in PvP for North Von Frosty. But again, take note, she's not only viable for North Von Frosty, she is viable for any other team that you bring her with. Okay, so I might, you know, I might try to bring her with my wasted red team i currently have their um i currently have their annie i have their uh garf redley then i have their um schmidt i have fc iris i could actually experiment with another silencer uh and take out schmidt it's like an anti schmidt team probably it's actually just a concept team but Honestly, it can work because again, this is only her S1 is actually two mana. Her S2 is four mana, but is a pierce damage spell and is very good actually in the game. Okay, so before you all got you 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 are you know you're 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 getting too excited with what I'm telling you. Let's go to her um chance to summon. It's a zero point seven zero point seven percent because she's a black fate core so again 19 core mileages for you to obtain her i'm not sure yet if i'm going to summon her um probably if i don't like what's going to be out in on what do you call this on um on thursday i might summon for this banner but i have to wait for thursday um i have one copy of her by the way Sh um i don't have her fusion not even once so i might get I might be tempted to draw in her banner by Thursday if I know who I I have to know who's coming out this Thursday because 
I've saved a lot, a lot of zest enough for a gold fate core. I will park her banner until Thursday. But from my opinion, guys, um, if you you're not really into her skills, um, if you're not really, if you don't think you will be using her, don't pull for her banner. Um, if you are into North One Frosty, maybe you can spare a little bit of your zest to pull for her if you don't have her yet. Again, she's a Black Fate core. She's easy to get. But again, there are a lot of Black Fate cores out there that if you're going just going, just going to rely on, on the random Fate core selection ticket, you actually might not, you know, might not get her. I've been, you know, with all the Black, uh, with all the, the, the random Fate core tickets that I've gotten, I only got one Monica. So again, if you want copies of her, um, you should pull for this banner but if you're not into into her skills if you're not into her faction and if you think that you won't be able to use her then abstain from this wait for the thursday banner um that's going to be dropping a lot of people have been waiting for that including me her skills are definitely very good she's actually the third um core reverse that has to be good starting with adams then Jean, then her and her exclusive weapon you have here, Crystal Stinger. So Crystal Stinger, I'm not a very big fan of exclusive weapons. I would discourage you guys to pull for this, especially if um, you're, you know, you're not really a whale and you'd like to spend your zest on pulling for Fate Cores. Again, um, if you like the character that much, I like the character that much, but I still won't pull for the exclusive weapon. So not recommend you pulling for her uh, exclusive weapon again the the chance is similar to a fate core 0.7 percent and again the core mileage is the same so um please don't she brings another utility to your team another dimension to your game and for me i've been using silence for you know for quite a while in terms of gameplay and pvp and i really appreciate how she's built right now she is a good s2 um solid s1 especially now with silence and the passives are you know kind of average um but again you don't get her for your for her passives you get her for s1 and s okay so guys again as you've seen here comment down below on my new you know my new setting overlay and everything um comment on uh, monica um are you going to pull for her um are you going to skip her banner? Um, because again, it requires a lot of decision getting her depending on what you need and what you're going to build for your future team. Also consider PvP tag as well if you want to pull for her. Not because I think for PvP tag, she will be good as well. Okay, guys. Um, again, comments down there. Comment section below. Um... For those who haven't subscribed yet to my channel, around 85% of my viewers haven't subscribed yet. So you guys out there, for those of you who haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe. This helps my channel a lot. And also guys, stay safe, stay together. This is The Warden and I'm out of here.